Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a lovely Everose Red Gold and Cerachrome Ceramic Rolex Oyster Perpetual Cosmograph Daytona. Reference 116505. The timepiece is 40 millimeters in diameter on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, and it measures nice and compact 47.6 millimeters lug to lug so with this oyster flex bracelet strap and it is a bracelet strap you can see the lug to lug dimension is the true dimension there are no solid end links here the watch is slender too 12.2 millimeters thick with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs it's a substantial piece because it has that bracelet interior to the rubber cladding it's actually a solid piece of metal all the way around there's a solid red gold case back and then a very substantial oyster clasp let's talk about the way the watch fits with the strap as you can see the oyster flex strap well, bracelet with a rubber cladding essentially wears like a strap. It's casual, it's comfortable, and there are several different sizes because you cannot cut it. So make sure you get the right one at the time of purchase. It has the same definition down its flanks and its center that you would find in a bracelet, so it's not just an indistinct piece of rubber. It's nicely executed inside and out, and you're going to find that some of the cleverest design is underneath, where there's a bellows system, understanding that not every wrist will have its perfect corresponding strap size. Rolex decided to create this compression system that helps to cinch, cinch the watch to your wrist, but also create a little bit of an air pocket to vent the wrist. Now you can see on the flank, Oyster Flex. There's a piece of metal through there. It's a titanium and nickel alloy, so you can't actually break it, and you also can't cut it. But the clasp, as you can see, features a easy link extension system, so you have five millimeters of tool-free adjustment, and then you can see internally there are divots drilled, so you have three alternative anchoring points, and if you look, Rolex has been refining these interior clasp divots by creating little tracks that lead the spring bar into the divots for easier placement. Clever and also quite flexible. It gives you options if you don't get quite the perfect strap size. The clasp is everything you would expect. There's a double lock, so it's actually got a lift lock system. You can't just pull it open. There's a beak and a hook internally, and you can see how those interlock to lock once you hear that snap and then you hear that snap two separate locks so a very secure clasp jumping back to the case the daytona case is graceful and fluid it's anything but the super case profile with its blockish lugs and squared off sides that you see on the gmt's the subs the sea dwellers and the explorer 2. you also note how the conforming end profile link integrates the strap with the case as cleanly as if it were a rolex bracelet the case band is flame surfaced in the sense that the compound curves all of high polish do wild things with even soft light and then you have a rolex serochrom bezel which is a polish Polished black ceramic component that is highly scratch resistant. Along with the sapphire, it's going to pretty much shield your watch from scratches and scuffs. There's a tachymeter inboard, and all of the indices as well as the numerals and the letters are actually infills of red gold. So that's where the definition comes from inside the black tack. The dial is a lush ivory. So you have that ivory coloration, and then you have the rose gold accents, the hands, the Rolex crown, the indices, and the concentrically snailed sub-registers for the constant seconds as well as chronograph functions. Now this is a gorgeous dial and underneath the case back a movement to match. Rolex manufacturer caliber 4130, 44 joules automatic winding, 72 hour power reserve, 28,800 vibrations per hour, 100 meters water resistant and quite secure against intrusion. It features a column wheel and vertical clutch system. So what that means is the actuation of the chronograph is crisp thanks to the column wheel. Pusher feels up there with the El Primero Caliber 400 and the Datagraph Caliber L951 is the best in the industry. There's also a vertical clutch, so you don't get that jump or stagger to the seconds hand when you activate the chronograph. And if you wish, thanks to the vertical clutch, you can leave the chronograph engaged full time with no additional hazard to the movement. Now there are more advantages. A free sprung balance with a full balance bridge for shock resistance, an overcoil hairspring, a Breguet overcoil to be precise, made by hand at Rolex to allow the watch to take multi-position regulation so there's no undue racing of the movement or slowing of the movement in any orientation on your wrist or your nightstand. And that helps the watch to achieve a COSC Swiss chronometer certification. Now Rolex takes that certified movement, cases it up, and then regulates it again so that it runs no worse than minus two plus two seconds per day as a fully cased up watch. Remember, COSC is minus four plus six as a bare tested chronometer movement. Also, keep in mind that that's a minimum. The watch can run better than minus two 
plus two seconds per 24 hours. Finally, there is an alloy about the hairspring, oxidized niobium zirconium, blue oxidized. Rolex calls it Parachrom Blue, and it's a robustly anti-magnetic alloy to help the watch resist the power of home and office electronics as well as powerful static magnets it may encounter. You can see this lovely Everose red gold and ceramic Rolex Daytona on our website. And remember, Everose is so named because it has a high percentage of platinum so that it doesn't oxidize and fade over time as some red golds can. A lot of red golds after a few decades begin to look yellow. This will be Everose. See it and make it yours on the Watchbox. Everose Rose Gold Oysterflex Rolex Cosmograph Daytona.